One billion dollars. That's the goal here. Some general rules. We started our current amount. We're on the rough start difficulty, the hardest one. We start with five hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand of which is a loan. I will be using loans, and I will be using a few mods here and there. None of it too impactful. Mostly just quality of life stuff or things for making recording YouTube a little bit easier. I'm pretty fresh to farming sim 22. Done a few saves, but nothing nothing too crazy, nothing too long term. I think my general strategy here is going to be to go some early contracts, try to find some deals on tractors, uh, pieces of land. Once I get some land on my own, I'll probably be focusing on silage and other passive kind of earners like chickens and greenhouses uh stuff like that while i do some easy cheap stuff like silage towards the beginning like i mentioned once we get a bit more money i'll try to build up some fields to really increase that income maybe while keeping some contracts going at the same time we'll look more into doing stuff like production chains and uh, higher scale stuff and i think that's gonna what what's gonna really propel us up past that starting to get into the millions and try to sniff it a billion probably getting ahead of myself just a little bit because we're starting we're starting at the broke part and this is broke to billionaire so am i crazy for trying to get a billion dollars in farming sim let's find out now our farmer here already perfection i i don't I don't think there's anything that I need to adjust at all. I am going to take a look at these contracts. Uh, I'm going to be borrowing the items and getting to it. So, it looks like we are going to field 65. Oh, it's right down here. Okay. That is a tiny little field. Only pays like 360 bucks, but I figure it's a good little intro. Oh, do I have to buy the fertilizer itself? I honestly did not know that. So I do have to buy it. It only pays 361. Is that even like worth it? Because I gotta, what well, is the cheapest? If I have to buy my own fertilizer, that's kind of crazy. I mean, <laughs> I should not have taken this. I mean, if I had a way to store the fertilizer, it might be worth but I, I'm, I actually think I'm going to abandon that one. Not a good way to start. <laughs> uh, so if he wants field 31. This pro I so okay. I was, I was going to say this is probably a bigger field. User, okay, lease equipment. I mean, 1,200 if you have the stuff is usually not worth because it's just going to do a bunch of damage to your. Uh, to your equipment so he has a big ass harvester too which is really nice but we're going up to 31 right okay it's just around the corner here yeah this combine is huge man that guy is flying out of the vehicle store you should expect this type of thing um so let's get going here i haven't ever used this thing before actually yeah i'm aware it's reserved for contract work i'm at their damn field aren't i Let me go. My first time using a big boy like this. Now, my forte of driving straight in these things has never been good. <laughs> it's always a curved line, although I'm doing all right here. Okay, I can already see I'm not doing all right, so. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Uh, someone needs to, okay, no, right as soon as I say it, it's not too bad. This happens. I cannot have this. Damn it, boy. What you doing? That's not my damn fields. And there's just something about harvesting that really just hits right, you know? Say as I cut in way too deep to the middle of the field. Even with this big of a, a harvester, man, this field is, whoo, whoo, 
boy. He's a big one. Look at me go, though. That's a farmer. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a farmer like that before, but now you have. See yourself blessed. Hey, did you guys know this vehicle tool is reserved for contract work only? I didn't know that. Shoot, I was gonna go start harvesting my own damn fields. This dude ain't never heard of weeder, let me tell you what, boy. Whew! Look at all them weeds. Boys, don't don't have your field be looking like that, okay? You gotta be getting you gotta be getting the weeder out, man. Now I know I'm jinxing myself already, but God damn if that ain't a straight line. Whew. Oh, did I jinx it? No, it's still looking pretty good. Now, I think the majority of this first day is going to be contract work, as I said. Um, I do have... Every day is just one month. So, we'll be going through this month. It's first my first month in town, mostly just working for other people. I don't even have a vehicle. I'm sleeping at these uh, these good farmers' houses <laughs> while I work on their farms or abandon their uh, jobs because they only pay 300 bucks. That is ridiculous. But what do I know? I'm just a humble farmer working another man's field. And something about working another man's field, sleeping in his house, don't quite rub me the right way. His wife started making me breakfast. It was getting weird. That's all I'm going to say. Whew, I missed a spot. Just like that. Just like that. Coming around, doing doing the pass of shame. Any farmer worth their salt knows about that second little pass of shame. Just got to cut up a little piece of canola. Nobody needs to know about that, though. Look at that. It's, it, it ain't nothing happened. I got it on the first pass. What are you talking about? Coming up on the final pass here. Probably have some extra canola. Um, I don't know how that works. Considering I do not have a tractor or a trailer. So, we'll see. I wonder if I'm just able to sell it. That'd be nice if I could just sell it right away. I don't even want to hold it. Just put the extra money in my pocket. Because why not? We'll just have to see here. It's a learning experience. Uh, at least for me. <laughs> Maybe not for anyone else, but definitely for me. We're, we're figuring out as we go. Either way there, we are done with this harvest. We harvested this whole field. Definitely wasn't super short. I do not know where I'm going. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we won't we won't talk about uh, uh what's going on here. Uh, and so how's that how's that canola doing, everybody? We want backwards help? Oh boy, we really got ourselves. Oh oh, there we go. Okay okay. So now we just gotta get the trailer with the canola with physics that definitely makes sense. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, we'll just bring this around. Nothing to see here, sir. Don't worry about your equipment. It's in peak condition. Should be. Oh, yeah, look at that. All done. So we'll shut this bad boy down. I'm not sure what we do with that when we're done here, but we'll figure it out. Now to get this to the farmer's market. Right up here again. Let's get going. Let me know in the comments if you've made it this far. I appreciate it. This is a new thing for me, branching out a little bit. I haven't really played too much farming sim, but gotten into it recently. I really enjoy it. All right, we are pulling up. Let's get this canola offloaded. What happens when we uh, fulfill it, huh? So we're done. Oh, I got a little extra. Okay, so that's how it works. All right. So look at that. I got an extra like 2,000 just from the harvest. Whoo. 
Now that is pretty juicy, honestly. I mean, what what do we do here? It says compl Oh, I haven't collected. Okay. So total was about six grand because I borrowed all of his equipment. He took twelve hundred out, leaving me with uh forty six forty nine. Not too bad. So I assume when I collect, it'll he'll just take all his stuff back. Look at that. Just like that. Now, we can do another harvest, or we got a, a plow. So, field 36. Oh, boy. I already know this is going to be a big one, huh? Now, I do like the harvest. Field 63. That I think that's a pretty small one, right? Yeah, that's real small. 63. All right. We're going to borrow it from you there, brother. Look at that. Man, this thing moves slow. <laughs> Whew, boy. They couldn't have just, uh, you know, had the equipment down there for me to use. Instead of making me drive across town. Oh, boy. This, this brother is not stopping whatsoever, so I'm going to have to go over him. Sorry about the swipe on your car, buddy. Sorry about that street sign, too. I do believe it's this one right here on the corner. Ooh, look at that corn. Look at that. Now, I regret to inform this van behind me. I got to line this bad boy up. All right, Mr. Van, you are not making my life very easy right now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get. Uh, oh, look at that! Same old little lady from earlier. She she is she is making her wage today. All right, enough of that. Let's get this uh, let's get this boy set up. Now, is it easy to be hooking up two of these at the same time? Besides backing up with the trailer, which is the just the worst. Oh boy, I am. I am all sorts of off already. <laughs> this is really, this is really some rocket science, man. Can these even hook up? They, they got it right. They, that's the only reason they would give me two of them. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, we'll just be driving and just check out them fields. Elm Creek water. Look at some jackass in a tractor running off the road. Out of the way, buddy! Out of the way! I mean, how's this thing looking in here? It's not looking too bad. Look at all them, them switches, man. Whoop, I know we're getting some air. Look at that combine up there. Who could that be? We're just gonna dismiss her that little lady from working. She did a good job. But I'm back. Uh, her services are no longer required. Alright, final pass. Didn't even fill up the combine uh, all the way. Soul field. Gotta open up the rule book again, I guess. So it's, oh my, I sent that thing flying. <laughs> it's still in space somewhere. Look at that. I did. Another 300. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. That paid for the wages right there. Now, we've gotten quite a few more contracts. A $10,000 contract is pretty crazy. Um, I'm seeing immediately why he is paying that because that field is like twice as big as the one that I just did and this I've used this before this thing is not big <laughs> Which I'm curious as if you can <laughs> Take this equipment into the other because this the radius on this is significantly smaller for fertilizers uh, as you can see between these two, 12 to 18, this one goes 42, so it is like a world of difference. But why don't we take those two out at the same time? So I'm going to borrow these items, and that's active, and I'm going to borrow these items. So you can, you can do both here at the same time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to just take this one over. So I'm wondering if he'll let me do it. If not, AI worker... We'll call it good. A strategy of just uh, getting a lot of these contracts going at the same time 
and then just hiring workers for a lot of them while I do one. It seems like a really profitable opportunity. Um, let's see here. No, I, I just fertilized some of it. I just want to see here. I mean, it, it's making progress. That is pretty crazy, actually. Um, once he's done, I think I might just have him take the same fertilizer setup and go to the other one. I'll pick up one of the high-paying other, maybe the baling contract. For mowing and baling. Uh, I mean, we're just collecting. And let's get this filled up and get to the next field, which uh, is... I want to use it on the big one here, which is field 39. So we're kind of just floating a contract for the ability to use this big fertilizer, which maybe isn't the best plan, but it actually seems pretty good. I already forgot which one. 39. Um, it's over here. So let's go fill up again. And we'll get them, get them on over. Yeah, this is interesting. I haven't played this game that in this way very much. It, it's almost like uh, just being a contract for hire, but also kind of playing middleman for the AI workers. And just just getting them kind of working for you. Playing, playing manager, you know? Let's get this one going. I want to do some bailing. That seems fun. So we're going to borrow the items. Which is all this goodness here. So the first thing is just to mow it. So let's, let's focus on mowing this. And after that, it's use this guy. I actually don't know what this is. Is this a windrower? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is the tedder. This is the windrower. This is the baler. I thought there was a, I don't love that there's a, we gotta use bale forks. That part kind of sucks. Um, I thought one of these was just a bale trailer but that's okay let's get out there and get this going i'm de definitely not min maxing the amount of money i can get out of that individual contract but i'm able to work on multiple at the same time so it kind of speeds up this whole process which i think is very worth it if i really wanted to min max every single contract i would just be doing the entire thing myself um but i don't know uh doing Doing multiple contracts at the same time actually is, has a degree of fun to it. Is that contract done? Okay, it is done, so they should stop. So, I don't even need to drive this thing back. So, let's do that. There is a, a decent amount of micro management here, which is the one downside. So, we're going to collect that. That's just money in our pocket. And why don't we just accept this one, too, and have them go take care of it? Just realized I could have I could have been saving a little bit of money So I could if I just accept the contract and I just use our equipment right now This is interesting <laughs> This is a very interesting little strat we have going on here Okay, so let's just tell them to get going here We'll create a job for field work. The target position is Field 42 they're on field 43. So Let's let's get them going here, and they'll just do that one while I while I figure out the uh, mowing here. I guess this goes to show how powerful it can be. Just to have like if you just have a tractor and that that's like any old tractor can really have that fertilizer spreader that I'm using right here, and that's a pretty that's a pretty great little combo. Just like that, it's just a tiny little field. This, this contract pays pretty well. It's probably just because it is a bit tedious. This is this is going to be the easy part, is the actual mowing. All right, so now we just we're we're just finishing up this baling. I think this is going to make the most sense to do on my own, uh, because there's a few different steps to this process. We are going to borrow items here because we definitely need all this, and yeah, so we'll get this one going. This contract work, it feels like it's really coming along, and I'm actually making some good money, as you can see. Oh, yeah, I, I remember looking at that one. Okay, so we will get this one just easy peasy. And we're going to do it that way. And let's get that job started here. Screw it. Let's, let's, let's put another AI on this. Create a job, field work. 
Maybe maybe doing it this way makes more sense. I don't know. You do you do your thing. Start job. And we're gonna do the same thing where we just deliver the trailer down there for unloading. One thing, I'll just need to pay attention to when those uh, harvesters are full. But otherwise, this is this is pretty easy. I mean, that's that's the beauty of uh, hiring workers for you right there. You're all done. All right, let's see how these worker bees are doing. This guy is very close to getting full. This guy's not even close. Looks like he's got the guy nearby too. There's a lot of a lot of switching between vehicles doing the contract work like this, but it's kind of entertaining. Kind of just the the quick action between them you know you kind of get a little bit of everything too all right let's get the wind rowing started here this is uh i'm not sure how i feel about this one but i was kind of hoping it would be a bit bigger than it is but we'll deal with it it's not so bad doing three contracts at the same time where i only have to work one is 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 very nice especially when i'm really not gonna be knocking out all three of these on my own because that is just so time consuming even though it would it would be very good from a making money in a short amount of time it, for my own sanity i don't think it would <laughs> it would be the best <laughs> so i'm liking what we're doing we've got a nice little game plan yeah all right here we go look filling up oh turning way too much sometimes these tractors i swear all right, there we go. All right, we're filling her up. Here we are at 100%. Drop that boy out and keep it, keep it rolling here. I like this bailing business. It looks like we'll have just three. Looking like it, maybe three and a half, but a half a bale don't mean too much. Exactly know how how this works. <laughs> I haven't transported them like this before, but we'll, we're gonna figure it out. I wanna say this can just take two bales at once, but I, I don't really know. So we have to, is it, a, is it a stab? Is it a stabby? Oh, there we go. Okay, it just carries it just like that. I just got downsized for some reason. So this thing can only take four at a time. I guess that's not so bad. Before I turn this all in. Oh my god. Okay, I can't can't be taking these. <laughs> can't be taking those those too quick. Uh oh well. Now this is this is not a good idea what I'm doing right here. <laughs> I I got a little greedy with that turn. Oh, we're done uh, we're done harvesting this guy. Okay. That's who, who finished up here. So let's go offload this again. We'll get the last of this sold and we can turn this in. Bank account's been going down, but it should go up. That That's mostly from paying all these workers all at the same time. Okay, fill that up. Jeez Louise, this is, this is something. I just sent those things flying. This is why a ba uh, an automatic bale loader seems like it would be a fantastic investment. I'm gonna get back to the impossible task loading and delivering these bales. I am too impatient of a driver to not have these things flinging off. And uh, this guy is done. So it is all loaded. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just keep it going with those. And I might put an AI worker on this one next on the plowing, cause I hate plowing, but that seems like it could be a good amount of cash right there. And they only take 300 for borrowing their equipment, so. It is pretty funny that uh, I'm pretty much just collecting like finder's fee for some of these contracts <laughs> and not actually doing any of it for myself, but somebody's got to manage these workers, man. Um, we'll get this guy harvesting again. This guy's delivering that. I mean, we're just full manager right now. We're doing nothing except for managing our workers. Just uh, all right. And I should have just been driving this myself the whole time anyways, because I'm stupid and forgot that you could fold things up, but we're learning. We are learning. Okay, we'll un unfold this guy in the front. All right, finished and got a little, got a little extra cash too. 
it's interesting it's interesting starting our farm this way playing full manager over all these workers working doing three contracts at the same time just really really doing all the field work we can to try to maximize our bank account um i think this is pretty good taste of what it might be like later when we just have a lot more money multiple tractors multiple big fields needing harvesting i think it's going to be kind of similar to this you just got a lot of ai workers it's a lot of micromanaging it's less doing all the farming yourself which is a lot more common early um and i might just have a side hustle going on a lot of this time where i can be doing my own farm but at the same time running these contracts with ai workers is definitely not the fastest way to be gaining money but it is it's a little bit of work to get them doing things right but at the same time it's it's just, it's good just passive money maybe not that passive because uh these dudes don't really know what they're doing most of the time but that's okay that seems like a prime have a worker do it <laughs> Which is apparently all my uh, all my jobs that I find out here. I'm gonna start that job. Okay, buddy, here you you have a good time, ma'am, ma'am. You have a good time plowing that there field. Uh, let's get let's get this let's get it going a bit more. I obviously don't have a baler. I don't have any equipment of my own. We we are strictly a farmhand and. A farmhand manager, more importantly. That is where we're making a lot of our money. We're above 20k since we started at the very beginning of this month. This is the first month of our first year of Broke to Billionaire Challenge. And it is... We're off to a good start. 20k in one month. Little to no effort, really. Uh, it is starting to rain. Which isn't very helpful for us. I, I, I think it does have a tendency to reduce your yield. Harvesting while it rains. Well, uh, we're almost done. It, it don't matter too much. I want to get this contract done. It's getting pretty late in the day, and we got to get this, get these contracts done, and wrap it up for the month, really. Um, unless some more good contracts pop up, but it's late in the day. I don't see a lot of a lot of farmers. A lot of them are settling down for the night. Just a little bit left, which is unfortunate wondering if it's even worth going back and forth to turn this in but probably driving around in the dark farming in the dark would not recommend harvesting in the rain also would not recommend driving around a trailer filled with your product in the rain that doesn't have a cover also would not recommend i cannot imagine a worse job right now than <laughs> plowing a field with that tiny little plow they give you in the middle of the night or i mean it's 7 30 is really not that late but yeah it is uh i don't <laughs> i don't envy that man i do not envy that man look at that hey 231 yahoo let's go let's go now while i don't envy this individual i will <laughs> i will not be stepping into assist i would rather take the <laughs> Lots of income from hiring this person than ever. Do. I wouldn't want to do this in the middle of the day with perfect weather. Nothing like that. This is with that tiny little plow. Man, plows are just the worst. This is I think this is the worst type of contract I've seen so far. I'm, I'm not sure what's worse than this, but I guess it's an OK one for AI, but it takes forever and you really don't make much money from it anyway we'll check in with this guy a little later but i mean we're i think we are done for the day and see you in september